just thought I would share with you maybe one of the favorite parts of my day. I like to crack myself a beer because I'm a grown ass lady who likes a beer. I just jumped in the pool, got my cute suit on. So here's a thing that's about to happen. I had a very sweet email that I received a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, probably just before the move and all of that from this man and he was saying how his wife uh, really enjoys my content and is a big fan and listens to the podcast and does all the good things and he says her birthday's in July do you think you could give her a call and I was like sure <laughs> I'm open to it so in about 10 minutes I'm gonna call this sweet girl on her birthday and just chat for a few minutes and I hope it's not weird. Like, I hope she doesn't get freaked out. I'm sure it'll be fine. And I'm thinking I might record it because that's kind of neat. And if she lets me, I'll use it in a vlog. So this may or may not be footage you get to see. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Also, I'm freshly showered and I'm kind of enjoying my hair. I always forget how much I like my hair until I blow dry it. <laughs> also, in other news, I am having a big work day today. So this is a little pause, but a big work day and then I invited a friend over for coffee tomorrow and I invited some friends over for coffee and a play date on Sunday yeah I'm super pumped I'm like days keep passing and the summer is like whipping by and I'm like oh my god I need to do something and life is busy it will always be busy and you need to make time for people you know so I'm super pumped I just realized that Shyla is her name we were just chatting by message yesterday so Let's see what happens here. Hi. Hi. Is this Shyla? Yeah. Is it your birthday? It is my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. He is ridiculous. I had a feeling that he did that because he kept saying, you're gonna have a phone call today around noon. And I was like. <laughs> well, here we are on Saturday. I realized I may have food in my mouth, so disregard that. Had an egg salad sandwich, it was delicious. And now, what am I doing? I'm gonna do some chores, some things around the house. Dean's home for only a day. So sometimes when Dean gets home, like anybody, and they've just been at work for a while, they need some time to themselves. So here he is. Hi, he's doing his own thing. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little like tidy up of the basement. I'm doing some laundry. Hi, Dean. <laughs> so oh, much oh, better than that. Oh, okay. Still, look how cute he is. So tired. So I'm gonna do like a little tidy of the basement <laughs> because the kids have been like dumping their toys and I just have been ignoring that little spot. And also, you know, I'm having some guests at the end of August and my dad is staying over on Monday and I would really love to have the bed set up downstairs, honestly. Um, so we'll see how much I can get done. Let's see how much I can get done. I can't speak. Let's go. So I've hung some laundry, but I've got the the private stuff, like the undies that, as May has already expressed, she does not want those hanging on the line. And I've got the the boys are all me and boys, but I've got the clothes hanging out there on the line. So okay, I'm gonna go throw these in the dryer. I've got some towels I'm washing. Currently listening to a podcast actually by Feist. Do you guys remember Feist? I don't know how old all of you are, but like I loved her when I first met Dean 15 years ago. Toronto days. Love, love, loved her. One, two, three, four, tell me that you love me more. All that stuff. Anyway, she's so cute. Well, she's got a show. So it's called Pleasures. Currently listening to that. Okay, so this is the room. I'm also gonna open the curtains because I love the light. Let the light in. Oh, okay. So this room is a bit much. There's the bed. God, I've got to vacuum that. There's the frame. I can do this. I can do this. And also all this crap that I gotta move. This is what has exploded. Gotta sort that out. It looks worse than it is, truly. And um, I'm going to, We can you tell somebody was looking for something the other day? It's like, where is it? I'm gonna load this thing up, load some stuff in there. Dean's not too thrilled, because he's like, I'm gonna be building a laundry room. And I'm like, yeah, okay. You're gonna be building a laundry room in like six months, so. Let's let the light in. Um, so I'm not, you know, I got a vacuum. There was like some chips. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just like, don't, mm -mm, don't come at me with your laundry making skills. I know you're gonna do the room, but like for now we gotta get the things out of the garage and just in a centralized area. 
So it's like, hey, I need a box. There it is. Furthermore, I was telling Dean, like, it seems like there's so much right now in boxes, but that's because there's nothing set up. There's no bookcases. There's no tables. There's nothing. There's no shelves. There's like, you know what I mean? So there's nothing, there's nothing that we haven't personalized the space yet. Like, look at this. This is all have to go. Um, so it'll come in due time. Uh, but for now, oh, pretty butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Distractions. Um, so yeah, we just have to pace ourselves, right? It's the moral of my life these days. Or motto, motto. Pace thyself. Okay. Let's do stuff. Look at that, you guys. Ta-da! I can now put the bed together. I don't know about, oh, the equipment. It's all down there, so. See if I can do it. I don't know. And then, what? Hello, what do you think? This part. No, remember, remember, remember. You guys ended up hurting yourself, each other with that. No, I want you to put that away. Fine. I love you. Here's the little update. So I tidied things up. This was sitting upstairs in the hallway. It's literally just filled with blankets. And for now, it's gonna live here. Um, just extra blankets. We've got some toys, a random chair that I don't have space for right now. As you know, we've got both of our sofas like down here, which to be honest, I think we're actually gonna leave. It's really comfortable when you've got friends over and you're watching movies. I may pick up another ottoman just because I realize like we keep trying to share it. I gotta get a little table. Anyway, who cares about what I need to do? Let's talk about what I've done. It's tidy, it's vacuumed. Um, in the bathroom, laundry room area, I've wiped down all the surfaces, cleaned the toilet. This is all to be folded. So I'm actually thinking about just sitting outside and folding some stuff. I moved all the boxes, as you know. Forgive this stained mattress situation. It is what it is, man. Mattresses, they don't stay pretty forever. So this, I ended up dropping my plans to actually try to put the bed together. It looked a little more complicated than my brain had space for. I'm not like, it's not like an innate thing for me to know how to put furniture together. I'm really good at following instructions. There's no instructions, so I need Dean's help. And he needs to work, so he's sleeping, so forget that. This'll do, it's a bed. I'm gonna make it, and then when Dad stays over on Monday, it'll be fine. However, we will put the bed together before my guests come, I hope. Um, we've got some extra spare mattresses. These will also be used when my guests are coming. And yeah, like I, I clean stuff up. I'm pretty sure I put some stuff in here. Yeah, I got some things up there. You know, just trying to, trying to find places for things. And then here's the laundry room setup. So ended up moving the exercise equipment here. Unfortunately, no one is exercising at the moment. But anyway, it's there for now. Extra things I figure we might need quick access to and then I just stacked some boxes put some Christmas decorations back there um, yeah I was maybe saying this on Instagram or maybe here but like Dean would prefer to not have this room look like this because eventually we're gonna be like possibly turning this area into a laundry room but I'm just like honey Things need to live somewhere, and preferably not in a hot garage, you know? Because I'm a little worried about uh, mold building up and that kind of stuff. So at least it's a dry, cool basement. Um, yeah, so that's what I did today. It was like very basement focused, but you know what? It needed to be done. This door doesn't really open now, but anyway, it needed to be done, and I'm glad I did it. Yeah, now I'm gonna go clean the kitchen. Kids are outside playing. I may jump in the pool fold some laundry. I've got some clothing on the line, so that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I like to do this on Saturdays, you know, like just take a moment of pause and do a, lo a lot of like little house chores. I just thought I would share with you maybe one of the favorite parts of my day. I like to crack myself a beer because I'm a grown ass lady who likes a beer. I just jumped in the pool, got my cute suit on. I like to come down the stairs of my deck. The wood is all soft and warm. Are you ready? 
One, two, three, go. This one, riding his tractor. We just did, did a jump in the pool. Whoa. Yeah, I would have turned around before. Oh, turn the, hold on. There you go, you did it. Okay, stop, and I'll time you again, because you took Do you want me to move that thing out of the way? No! Wait, I'll move this thing. So you gotta go all, you gotta go to the right. <laughs> This pool is freaking awesome, by the way. I love this pool. So, oh, sorry, sorry. Dean picked up a different um, pump. It's like pretty, pretty extra, but that thing kicks. And this pool is beautiful and clear. And yeah, Jack's cruising around the yard. Woo! Just cruising like a dude. And we're just chilling in the beautiful sun. Isn't this nice, honey? It's such like a nice time of day. Hi. Hi. I love you. I love you. We just like to sit here in the sun. And it's like my favorite color of the day. With our cute dog. Just like this. Woohoo! Look at that rain! You can smell it. I'm from so high. You can smell it. So pretty. Just like that. Uh -huh.